found a light. I'm a little worried because I don't know how they fit it in this box. Two huge deliveries coming today. Is this the crystal ball at the bottom? You're gonna recognize the style. Is this is that one me? Or is that for you? No. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's already been kind of a busy morning. I was making notes for like my contractor on like the hood and stuff because I've submitted everything that is to the design. So we'll start to make any changes that are necessary. He's already came by, he picked up the corbels and they're gonna start working on the hood. And I had some other notes and things on the cabinetry which you guys will see in the next video. So I'm building that video now and gonna edit that video together because it's it's come a long way. The cabinetry has come a long way and it was like a kind of an evolving design as we figured out the room shape and the slopes of the ceilings and what was possible and how it felt and a lot, a lot has gone into it. So that is all good. It's been an exciting morning. It's also gonna be an exciting day because I have two huge deliveries coming today. Our oven is supposed to arrive between 11 and three. So we have to make space in the garage for it because they're gonna come back and install it when we're ready for it. Uh, so we're gonna lock it up in the garage. Two, I found a light. I found a light online and I kept stalking like websites like Cherish and First Dibs and just keeping an, my eye peeled. <sighs> it's coming. There may be crystals on it. <laughs> but something about this light spoke to me and I couldn't, I couldn't get away from it. Like it was something about it had the perfect balance of brass and old and crystals and French style and detail. I knew when I saw it, I was gonna know. Found it on Cherished. It's arriving today um, via FedEx. So I have to sign for the delivery. So I'm gonna be here all day, it's fine. I've never ordered from Cherish or a website like that that has antique furniture and pretty finds. I've always looked, but I've never like actually bit the bullet and like done it. And when you shop on there, you can make an offer. And so I was hesitant on the price, obviously. And then I felt like, well, it's antique. Maybe maybe this is treated more like a, a like a flea market, you know, where you can negotiate the price because they have like make an offer button. So I figured out, I did my research, I figured out what I was comfortable paying for it and went a little bit lower than that, thinking it was gonna be a negotiation and it was accepted. My offer was accepted. I was like, oh my God, that's so exciting. I'm so excited. So literally got this light for a fraction of the cost that I saw any of the lights that were at those places that we went to shopping that day. Those were just out of my league, like thousands and thousands of dollars. I was just like, I just can't, I just can't do this. Then the newer ones that we could get, you know, for a couple hundred dollars just weren't special enough. I needed to find the perfect light that met in the middle, you know, that was old and the style I wanted, but not so expensive. So the only thing that I compromised on a little bit was the size. It's three inches smaller than what I had originally wanted for that space. We're gonna see the scale. It's really pretty. Let's see what it gets here. So we are out here in the garage. We need to figure out where this oven is gonna go and I don't want it too deep into the garage. I kind of just, I want to put it right here off to the side because we are not going to be able to move this oven on our own. So we just need to assess this stuff. Not being able to use this dresser is breaking my heart and I cannot part with this dresser. I can't do it. It's like I need to hold on to it for a little bit just in case I can figure out a configuration in the guest bedroom to make it fit. Maybe for extra storage for the baby or something. I don't, I don't know, I cannot part with it. So we gotta figure out how to make it, make it stay in here for a little bit while I figure that out. This this air pump for your basketballs. Yeah. I like the little basket that you have to give us for his dirty clothes. I just can't get rid of the one. I made these, I designed these drawstring bags. These are this, the blank ones 
I just feel like it's like a different, it feels like a different life for me. It was so long ago that I've never been able to part with the rest of the inventory because these are blank. I feel like maybe for like the baby's like, I don't know, basketball team or something, or like school pro, like I feel like I can, they're really good quality and they're blank. It's like I could feel like I could use them for so much that I just I have to, I have to keep, I have to keep them. Thought this was gonna be so cool as like an art. It's like an art installation. It's an old, you know, basketball hoop. I thought it would be so cool if I painted it like black and hung it on the wall like that in Romeo's office. I feel like, or the baby. <laughs> I feel like they're both gonna love basketball. So I feel like this was gonna be really, really cool. What is this? Is this something for a car? <laughs> oh, it's a roof rack for an Audi. Sheesh, I wish I had, I put on my car. <laughs> it won't fit though. And I'm so glad that the previous owners left their pool fence. I see the holes, everything. Like we didn't know what this was for and then we realized it was the pool fence. So when the baby gets old enough to like open doors and we need to add safety around the pool, we already have it. ready for the day. Uh, since we're going to be getting these exciting deliveries, I don't really know what time they're coming. I know the oven is coming freight and the light is just coming through FedEx, I think, but I know I have to sign for both of them. So I cannot leave and they give the delivery. FedEx didn't give a delivery window, so it could be any time, but the delivery windows are so big. It, the oven could be delivered anywhere between 11 and 3 p.m. So here we are, but that's okay. I have stuff to do. So while we wait for those things, I have some packages that I got from ThreadUp. A big thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video and continuing to sponsor the vlog because I truly love them. If you haven't checked out any of the secondhand items on ThreadUp, you're really missing out because they are the largest online consignment and thrift store. Ever felt overwhelmed like going to a thrift store or even a flea market to shop for secondhand clothing, but you really want to, but it's just overwhelming. ThreadUp makes it so easy to find things from a particular brand, in a particular color, in your size. I have been living in jumpsuits and dresses throughout this entire pregnancy. Regular clothes that I can reuse and rewear after I don't have the bump anymore. So just like things that are fuller. So I got some dresses for sure and I got a few accessories that I wanna try on. Okay, here is dress number one. And I got a lot of pieces to transition from spring to summer, you know, cause that's kind of what we're doing right now. And look how cute, I could totally wear this after the bump is gone. This is from The Gap and it was originally $79. I got it for $25.99 and it's in great shape and i got these cute red sandals to wear with a couple of the outfits that i got and they're originally from madewell they were 95 dollars originally i got them for 25.99 as well okay i love this one this is from the drop i got it for 68 percent off of estimated retail so from 76 dollars to like 23.99 or something like that like so cute it has a little slit i love the pink this looks like new this looks like it was never worn <laughs> This dress is so comfortable. I was specifically looking for ones that had like a little tie back or a cinch so that as the bump grew, you know, it would have more fabric, but I could still have like a little bit of a, <laughs> thick, a side figure, but it would grow with me. And this one's so soft. This one was originally from Zara, so I got it about 47% off. Okay, I think I definitely was on like a pink kind of kick at while I was shopping. But this one also had the little cinches, but I think my belly is already at the, the max of the cinch, but it's it's still really cute. This one's from like Pretty Gar a company called Pretty Garden, and I got it for only $18.99. I also got this super cute visor for summer. I like to wear visors at the pool and stuff. I thought that was so cute. So I, I definitely take a look through their accessories every time I shop too, just to see. So you really can find some amazing brands at amazing prices on ThreadUp. You can thrift more like I do by shopping on there. So if you guys wanna get 35% off and free shipping on your first order, you can use my code McKenna to check it out and plug in your sizes, shop around, shop their new arrivals and see um, some what pieces you can thrift and give a second home to. 
So we got the garage organized, which is great. So it's kind of just a waiting game for the deliveries to show up. Um, I'm gonna do some computer work for a while and I'll update you when one of them gets here. <laughs> arrived you're gonna recognize the style just in a different color <laughs> clearly I have a very specific taste like I like a specific thing uh, so yeah so uh, here she is I know like she's still kind of covered and still kind of like you know packaged up I don't want to completely like take everything off but how stunning I'm pretty convinced that Il Ilvi I don't know how to say it. Ilve, I L is it live? No, it's I L V E. And Holman, which is the Holman range that I did in the cottage, in the well, you remember the whole debacle. I ordered stainless steel for the cottage with the brass accents here, and I got antique white. But then it happened to be a happy accident because we just changed at our sink, and I actually loved that more but I kind of already picked the paint color to go with the stainless steel. It was like a whole thing at the cottage, if you guys remember. So this one is black with brass and stainless steel accents. We did a 48 inch oven for this kitchen. Because of its scale and its size, and Romeo really wanted a larger oven because he loves to cook, obviously. You guys know that he was like a chef for years. So this oven went on like super sale. I don't know if they were trying to unload some of their inventory or something. I, I had been stalking the things that I wanted online for a while and it went on super sale in during the month of March. Jumped on it like right away. I was like, oh, this is not gonna go any cheaper than this. This is as cheapest that I've seen it. So I took advantage of it and got a huge discount off this oven. So I'm really, really happy. I checked everything out. I, we got the oven itself and then the connections. It's a dual range, which means it has um, two sources of power. So it's gas on top for the actual like burners, and then the oven starts with electricity. So it's it's got two different things happening. That's the same with the one in the cottage too. So I had to get some like connections and cords and things that don't already come with the oven, so that they have everything to actually install it. It was definitely a learning curve with this oven, the Hallman version of this oven, to operate the actual oven part. But I loved that it had like two, two ovens. Like you can, we can do something on this side and then something in the bigger one as well. Romeo's eyes lit up when they delivered it. So like that in and of itself is like totally worth it. It's, it's really beautiful, but it was a little bit of a learning curve. I'm currently in a design debacle with the feet. These ovens come with like these modern pole type feet. And it does have a mixed metal look. It has the stainless steel here and stainless steel on top where you cook. Um, but then all the brass accents, well the feet are stainless steel. And I just feel like for our kitchen, it's too modern with the shape and the fact that they're stainless steel. Now I have an inversion to stainless steel, so that also could be contributing to my issue. Two options, they make a really like pretty claw foot for this oven. But the price is crazy. It's like $250 a foot. And even if I got away with just two feet, like two like on the front, I was like, uh, I, I'm gonna think about this. I don't think I would have to do the back feet, but I don't even know if you can do that. Like, can you just do two feet? Probably. But then my mom was like, what if you just painted the feet the stainless steel feet would it could you get away with them just being brass colored on the feet or even have them plated so that they look like the same could that be cheaper and i was like i think that that's a, a great place to start because i feel like that would be better so, so there's still some things that we're working out with this oven but the feet are in here somewhere so i'm going to go ahead and find the feet and figure out what i'm going to do with them if i remember right they put them in this part yeah Pretty sure that this is the feet. See, they're so modern. Now this is the same feet that we have at the cottage, but for some reason at the cottage, it doesn't bother me quite as much. 
and they're they're meant to be adjustable you know so that it can be even and stuff I'm gonna keep these out <laughs> and also on the feet that looked like claw feet I felt like it was too much it was like I needed a happy medium I needed somewhere in between these super modern ones and those claw feet I was like it's kind of too much really love the black and brass a lot I'm very excited. Okay, our chandelier has arrived. I'm a little worried because I don't know how they fit it in this box, but I know he told me that they were going to ship it really protected and kind of disassemble some pieces. And he also sent me some extra crystals, just in case. So I'm like, okay. But this one doesn't work out. We're gonna be on the hunt again. I mean, until we find the perfect piece, but this one, like in the pictures and the size wise everything like i mean it's pretty perfect before i open it i haven't looked at it yet before i open it i'm going to read you the description like what i was saying magnifique french eight arm 16 light ornate brass cut lead crystal chandelier this amazing and massive chandelier is being offered in overall excellence, gently pre-owned conditioned. You will not be disappointed. This chandelier measures 33 inches. Okay, so I was right, three inches off. 33 inches with a huge three inch lead crystal ball at the bottom. It is loaded and dripping with authentic cut lead crystals. This amazing chandelier will date from the 1940s. So it's from the 1940s. We've checked all the sockets and changed out the main lead wire. So they've already rewired it. I was like, that's a huge step in the right direction because all the ones that I was seeing out and about were like needed work. Like they needed to be rewired. The chandelier works and lights beautifully matching ornate ceiling cap is included, which I was excited to see because I kind of want a ceiling cap. So it's 33 by 33. Styles are Empire, French, Rococo, kind of that period, 1940s, origin, France, vintage, antique, and pre-owned brass and has been confirmed by a professional electrician that it is in working order. So. Just so you know. Oh my gosh. Is it all in pieces? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. Is it? This may be a build your own light from the 1940s. I think it's literally like that's how they ship it. They like literally protect every piece, which I'm, hey, I'm okay. Because a lot of the times when you buy any lighting, even new, that has crystals on it, they will ship the crystals separately to protect them. And then once it's installed, you hang the crystals. So this may be a major tease for both of us and we might not actually get to see it all together. Let's see what one of the crystals is. Here is one of the crystals. Oh my gosh. You know, when you search for French lighting, what you're gonna come across majority of the time are crystal chandeliers. And I felt like that's what I was running into. Like when I kept looking at just the ones that had only brass or only bronze, it felt like it missed something for me. Like it, it was lacking. It didn't make it feel like a statement light anymore. It was almost like I was gonna look through it and it wasn't it wasn't going to be my power piece. And I have a lot of powerful pieces that are going in the kitchen, but the light in the center of the room should really have power. The whole time I felt like the crystals would make the room feel more feminine. I've been trying to balance our styles. You know, I've been trying to be thoughtful of the fact that he lives here too and like, Maybe he doesn't want everything to be like floral and feminine. Found this light, I was looking at it for a few days. I turned my screen on my laptop to Romeo and I said, would you kill me if I put this light in our kitchen? He goes, whoa, that's really pretty. I was like, wait, what? And he goes, that's really pretty. I was like, oh, oh, okay. Because something about this has a good balance. <gasps> Is this the crystal ball at the bottom? Oh my. God, it's heavy. You guys. I'm in love. I'm officially in love with crystals. As much as I tried to find it, I think it was against my being. Look at this. Holy cow. We just need to make sure that that stays on really well to that light. So this is the very bottom 
of the light. This is what hangs in the center, the bottom. My gosh. This is one arm. Look at the detailing. Every part, every inch of this was incredibly detailed, which is, I think, what I loved so much about it. And then you can see the little holes where the crystals hang from. Okay, so it looks like it's all the arms wrapped up individually and the center is separate. Okay, so this is definitely a big tease and I apologize. But what I can do, put a few crystals on one of the arms and we can see that. And then you'll just have to wait. We'll both have to wait for it to be installed. It's stunning. So this is one arm. <laughs> I don't know what about it. I mean, there is a lot of crystals. I don't know what about the balance of crystals to brass on this particular light really works for me. I saw a lot of different lighting styles that actually had the, the pieces like in here encased. I don't know what they were encased with. Some were like more beaded, uh, but encased with like more of a crystally look. And so the whole thing just looked so crystally. And that's too much for me. And then when it's so covered in crystals that you can't see the brass, it's too much for me. This had the this had a good a good balance. So we both will see this light when they install all the lighting for the kitchen. It won't be the last, last thing, but it'll be pretty close to the last thing. So we're gonna have to wait a couple weeks, but I'm very happy. Really hope that the scale is, is good. Cause how am I gonna know? <laughs> how am I gonna know? I gotta call my mom. Mom. Hi. I have two exciting things to show you. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Oh. This is, is that one for me? R. Is that for you? No. This is for me. But this is one arm. Well, how many arms do you have? I think eight. That's gorgeous. Look at the detailing in the brass. Yeah, clink together the, the crystal. Oh, yeah, you taught me that, huh? <laughs> because if they sound, when you clink them together, you can tell if they're uh acrylic or glass those are, those are pretty sparkly i don't think you had to clink them to see it these are lead <laughs> yeah these are like cut, cut glass beautiful. yeah oh my goodness <laughs> that's beautiful just like the one at the cottage but black <laughs> and bigger how did you get it so fast this actually took about a month yeah but the one at the cottage took you forever oh i have one one word for why all that took so long to get here. What do you think that word is? COVID. COVID. Ugh. It took forever. This is not it. This is too modern, but the cloth feet are too much. It's black. They would just disappear. Black. The, uh, your emphasis would be on the brass and the... That's actually more doable to paint these black than to try and match the brass. That's actually a really good idea. Oh, you guys, I was just working on the next kitchen episode so much. There's so much <laughs> that's going into this next episode because we're starting, I'm starting to share the cabinetry process. So it's going to be really, really exciting in two Sundays. Oh, Romeo's here. Hi. Really excited about that one and, and not this Sunday, but next Sunday. I'll need some time to put it together and film a few more clips. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to check out ThreadUp if you haven't already. I wore this dress today. I absolutely love it. Use my code McKenna to get 35% off plus free shipping on your first order. I'll leave the link in the description box so that you could just tap it too. They have great stuff. Definitely shop the new arrivals. And I'll see you guys really soon for another vlog. Bye guys.